Hey, today we're taking a look at the upgraded Amran 100 and 200 S-Series Bones Mount COB lights. If you've already purchased one of these lights and you're looking for instructions on how to use it or what comes in the box, feel free to skip ahead with these timestamps over here. Let's get into it. This 4 light series includes the 100 and 200 DS, which are both daylight balanced and come in 100 watt and 200 watt options. But that's not all. The series also includes 100X and 200XS, which are also 100 watt and 200 watt options with the added feature of bi-color control, allowing you to adjust the color temperature from warm to cool. These lights come with a Bones accessory mount, making them a versatile and perfect lighting solution for any content creator. Whether you're a vlogger, a photographer, or a filmmaker, these lights will help you take your content to the next level. One of the biggest advancements in this series is the color science. These lights not only bring a significant upgrade to the Amaranth family, but they can easily rival any other high-end LED fixtures on the market. If you're an indie filmmaker or a content creator, you may remember the days when a lot of the cheap starter LED lights would suffer from really strong green or magenta shifts, or generally low color fidelity. They could never reproduce skin tones correctly, and anything you throw in front of those lights ended up turning these really gross shades of green or pink. While not as prevalent now, many lower cost solutions still struggle with reproducing the full color spectrum to some degree. But now, with the 100 and 200 S series, this issue becomes a thing of the past, thanks to our upgraded dual blue LED chipset. Across the board, you can expect to see a massive jump in our SSI scores, boasting up to 12 to 16 points of improvement. The 200XS has a tungsten SSI score as high as 90 and a new upgraded daylight SSI of 89, making it nearly indistinguishable from true tungsten lights or the daylight standard. Like I said, these lights even beat out some of the highest end fixtures on the market. We didn't sacrifice output for affordability. Each of these LEDs packs a serious punch for its size. With the included hyper reflector at 1 meter, the Amaran 100DS and 200DS can output 34,600 lux and 55,800 lux respectively. And under the same conditions, the Amaran 100XS and 200XS can output up to 30,500 lux or 45,400 lux at 5600 Kelvin. The Amaran COB S series lights use advanced technology to give you better color and brighter lights. This means that even bare bulb, the Amaran 100DS can produce up to 4060 lux at 1 meter, the 100XS can produce up to 3640 lux, the 200DS can produce up to 7890 lux, and the 200XS can produce up to 6400 lux. Even when using a softbox, these lights will give you all the light you need. Let's take a moment to go over some of the design features of these lights. All of the fixtures in the 100 and 200D S series COBs feature a universal bones mount. This means they're compatible with a wide variety of accessories including the aperture products such as the soft boxes, lanterns, and for the daylight fixtures, for nails as well. Each of these four lights come in the same compact body size. They feature an identical tilting stand mount and ultra quiet fans, so your choice does not have to be dictated by the size and weight of the fixture. The Amaran COB S series lights are also designed with locking umbrella holders, which are another option for users who want a lower maintenance and more affordable light modifier than a softbox diffuser. To create the super lightweight design, each of these lights are made with high density durable plastic, weighing in at just around 1.5 kilograms or 3.5 pounds for the 200XS, or as low as 1.4 kilograms or 3 pounds for our lightest fixture, the 100DS. The lamp heads themselves are also super compact, measuring 207 mm by 115 mm squared without the mounting column. On the side, you can see the label for whichever model you have, and that the bicolor 100 and 200 XS fixtures are distinguished by a red accent. And at the top, all of the lights are designed with a sturdy handle that allows you to securely grip the light when you're positioning it, no matter what modifiers you have mounted. Now let's talk about operating these lights. You can find the user interface on the back of the fixture. There's an LCD screen that displays all the information you need for each light, including the intensity, CCT controls for the bicolor units, and Bluetooth reset. The Airman 100DS and 200DS have one control knob, while the bicolor units like the 100XS and 200XS have two. You can turn the control knobs more quickly or more slowly for larger jumps or more fine-tuned adjustments. You can even click the control knobs to toggle through different presets. Clicking the intensity knob will cause the intensity to jump in 20% increments, going from 20% to 40% to 60% to 80% and to 100%, and then back down at 20% cycling through. 
With the CCT control knob, clicking it will toggle through CCT presets, including 2700 Kelvin, 3200 Kelvin, 4300 Kelvin, 5600 Kelvin, and 6500 Kelvin. We designed the UI to be really intuitive, but when paired with the Citus Link app, these lights really shine. Hold down the BT reset button to initiate a Bluetooth reset, disconnecting it from any open network making it discoverable from the Citus Link app. While this happens, the screen will display its progress from 1% to 100%. Once the Bluetooth reset has been completed, you will see a success symbol displayed at the bottom of the circle. Now it's time to connect to the Citus Link mobile app. The Citus Link mobile app is available for iOS, iPadOS, and Android. Start by creating a scene and add the light to your scene by tapping the plus icon located at the top right of your screen. Now you have your Amaran light in your scene and you can access its controls wirelessly through your device. Each of the Amaran lights have been integrated with Citus Mesh technology, meaning that they can connect not only to the mobile control device, whether it be a smartphone or tablet, but also to any other Citus Mesh enabled light in the same network. With the Citus Mesh ecosystem, you can gain a lot more control over your light fixture. The daylight balance fixtures have up to eight lighting effects, including paparazzi, fireworks, lightning, faulty bulb, TV, pulsing, strobe, and explosion. The bicolor lights, namely the 100XS and 200XS, have access to a ninth effect, fire, all of which can be accessed and controlled via Citus Link. If you want to learn more about Citus Link, we have a whole playlist of tutorials down in the description. Now, when it comes to power, each of these Amaran lights come with a 48 volt power supply with a 3 meter long 3 pin XLR head cable with a metal loop and a 1.5 meter AC power cable. We wanted to ensure that the power supply cable was long enough that it wouldn't be dangling off of the light, causing unnecessary stress on the power connector or lamp head. And because the Amaran 100 and 200 COB lights use a 48 volt 3 pin XLR DC input, they can be powered with batteries by using the Aperture 2 Bay battery power station. The battery station uses two V or gold mount batteries and converts the output to 48 volts, so you can power these lights and other Amaran fixtures like the F21 and F22 lights. The Amran 100DS and 100XS only draw up to a max of about 115 watts and the 200DS and 200XS only draw up to a max of 230 watts. So you don't need the highest in batteries when using them with a two bay battery power station, but you will still need two batteries for the power station to activate. And lastly, for modifying these lights when used with their hyper reflectors, the Amaran lights have a tighter beam angle than the 300D and 300X by Aperture. This intensity can be great if you're bouncing the light or shooting it through diffusion, or you can use the bare COBs and soft boxes for a strong soft key light. The daylight balance lights like the Amaran 100DS and 200DS are compatible with a wider range of Aperture modifiers, as well as many of the other lightweight bones mount modifiers available on the market. The 100XS and 200XS, however, are not fully compatible with optical modifiers and projection attachments like the Fresnel 2X or Spotlight Mount. The Airman 100DS and 200DS both feature a unified chipset COB, meaning all of the LED emitters output the same daylight bounced light. This makes them a great candidate for optical modifiers and projection modifiers like the Fresnel 2X and maybe even the Spotlight Mount. You can learn more about which accessories are compatible with which fixtures on our website by downloading the accessory compatibility chart. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Amran 100 and 200 S series lights. They're modifiable lights for indie filmmakers and content creators with industry leading color quality. Now, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna like one of our lighting tutorials over here. I'll see you next time.